Hey everybody, AJ here. Welcome, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna have a look at the tips and tricks using touchscreen on Windows 11. Of course, the version of Windows 11 that we're using is the developer preview, so these features are not final, but I have a sneaking suspicion that they're not gonna change much when Microsoft makes Windows 11 generally available. Of course, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, and if you really wanna supercharge how you use your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. With that being said, let's jump straight into this. So the first feature I wanna talk about is actually the removal of a feature from Windows 10 to Windows 11. In Windows 10, you had the option of being in touch mode or in the standard desktop mode. In Windows 11, they've made the computer a little bit more intuitive and they've removed the option of actually telling it when you're in touch and when you're in desktop mode. Watch what happens when I turn my Surface Pro here, which is currently in laptop mode and turn it into tablet mode. What you'll notice is that down the bottom here, all the icons are gonna expand just a little bit to make it easier to use in touch mode when you don't have that keyboard and that trackpad with you. So you can see all the icons down the bottom here, the start bar and all the icons in the bottom right hand tray, they've expanded to make it easier for you to touch. This means that you're no longer having to swipe into the right and select whether you're using touch or desktop mode. The computer is just naturally gonna go into this wider format when you turn it into a tablet. And of course, when we convert it back into a two-in-one or into a laptop, you can see here everything compresses again because it knows you have that keyboard and that mouse attached. So one of the most basic but essential features on any computer is how to right-click. They haven't changed this from Windows 10 to Windows 11. So if you wanna do a right-click using touch in Windows 11, all you have to do is simply press and hold on the screen for a couple of seconds. That square is gonna populate around your finger and when you let go, you have a nice big touch menu to do a right click. One of the biggest overhauls I think they've made with Windows 11 in terms of the touch gestures is the increase in the hitboxes when navigating with your fingers. In Windows 10, you had to be very specific when you're dragging a file or resizing it to make sure that you're getting it right on the line. In Windows 11, it seems that they've increased the hitboxes so you don't have to be as accurate with your finger and Windows is a bit more intuitive knowing that you're looking at resizing this window either left or right or just moving it around. You can see here that there's that border around the file that you've just grabbed and this sort of shows you that they've increased the hitbox size from being right on the line to being a little bit more intuitive and forgiving when you're using your fingers. So along with the increased hitboxes, they've also made snapping that little bit smarter as well. If you don't know what snapping is, it's been around since Windows 7 and it's essentially having the ability to snap two windows side by side or in Windows 11, you have even more options than that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna launch my internet browser right now. And this is already snapped to the left-hand side, but I'm just gonna undock that for a second. So I'm gonna grab the internet browser and I'm gonna snap it to the right-hand side. And you're gonna see it's gonna take over the right-hand side of the screen. Next, it's gonna ask me what is the other program I wanna have open. And I'm just gonna simply select File Explorer. This feature has been around since Windows 7. But what I think they've made a little bit better in Windows 11 is the intuitiveness of those windows. So if I grab this center line that's dividing both those programs and move it to the left or to the right, you'll see that it actually resizes both programs where I can still have full access to my file explorer on the left. It's just shrunk everything down into a much more narrow pane. And if I grab it and move it over to the right, it's now given me my file explorer on the left with a bigger pane. And then I've got my Microsoft Edge browser on the right with a much more condensed version of that content. All right, now it's time to get into some of the more detailed changes when it comes to touch input in Windows 11. Starting with the one that's probably gonna take me the most to get used to, which is swiping in from the left-hand side. In Windows 10, when you swiped in from the left, it would open up your task view. And this was all the programs that you currently had open. Now in Windows 11, it brings you to your widgets page. At first, I was a little bit against this because I was just used to swiping in from the side to see all of my open programs. But now that I've been using it a bit more, I can actually see some of the value in having your widgets here because you also have a task view down the bottom. So let's swipe in from the side and let's have a look at these widgets. At the top here, you can actually customize the widgets that you have. There's a few set there by default. To move them around or to change them, you just grab and hold on to them and then you can just start resizing them all around the page here. If you don't want a particular widget on the screen, with every single widget here, you can see in the top right hand corner, it has the three dots, the ellipses, and you can either make it small, medium, or large. You can customize it, or you can actually just go remove it altogether. Down the bottom here, you actually have the option to add widgets. And there's only a few here at the moment, but I can see more and more being added to Windows 11 as the time progresses, and as this becomes a more generally available program. 
For now, I'm just gonna add in, let's say for example, my calendar, X out of that. And you can see it's now gonna load my calendar into the widget side on the left-hand side. You can access the widgets across any page. So just say we're here in my file explorer, I swipe in from the left, and this is gonna pull my widgets up across any page that I'm currently on. And if I scroll down, you can see here, it now brings up my news feed. Another big change is when you swipe in from the right-hand side. In Windows 10, when you swiped in from the right-hand side, this would bring up your notification center and your action center. So in Windows 10 at the top here, you had all your notifications, which are actually still here, but they look a lot nicer and a lot more condensed in Windows 11. Of course, we still have the options of looking at our, you can see I've got a notification here from Microsoft Store, my mail, and I can choose to swipe these away or I can press them to open them up. And then down the bottom here, you have access to your calendar. I think this is quite nice, but I do miss the fact that swiping in from the right brings up my settings, things like Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. But I think they've done a very good change here in the fact that now I just press on my little Bluetooth symbol down the bottom here where it has your Wi-Fi, your volume and your Bluetooth. If you tap on those, this actually brings up a more condensed version of that action center and it has only six options plus two sliders here for your volume and for your brightness. This is quite cool because you can actually select on the little pen icon here and this allows you to customize which settings are actually here. If we didn't want to have battery saver, we could actually just unpin that and then we could actually just go done if we only want these five here or we could go add and it's going to give us a few different options here. So maybe I don't want the battery saver, but I want to add my nearby sharing. I'm going to hit done and now I've just customized that little action center. This will take a little bit to get used to, but I think the UI looks really nice. The way that it's customized and shrunk down means that it's easy to find the setting that you're after. And I think overall, it's actually a really nice experience swiping in from the left to bring up your widgets and swiping in from the right to bring up your notifications and pressing down the bottom on your Wi-Fi, your volume and your battery to see your quick actions here. And of course, your volume and your brightness rocker. Another big enhancement in Windows 11 is the ability to use trackpad gestures with your hands. Some of these gestures use three or four fingers. I prefer for consistency just to use four fingers all the time, and I'll show you what some of these gestures are. So one of the big gestures is to go back to your desktop is simply a three or a four finger swipe down. That's gonna minimize all the programs you currently have open, and that's gonna take you straight to your desktop. If you want to jump back to the program you're currently using, it's again a three or a four finger gesture swiping up. Really quite cool, really quite easy. If you swipe up one more time, this is actually going to take you into your task view. In Windows 10, task view is a swipe in from the left hand side. In Windows 11, it's simply four finger swipe up. Task view shows you all of your open programs and lets you quickly jump between one to the other, or you can hit the X button to close them. And you can see down the bottom here, it also shows you multiple desktops. So you can have a number of different desktops here and you simply just want to add the new desktop button and you can see here we currently have three desktops open. If you want to swipe between the different desktops, it's simply a four finger swipe to the left or to the right, depending on where your desktop is. And that's going to take you straight there. You can see here we're on desktop two. We swipe again and that's going to take us over to desktop three. Right now in the Windows 11 public preview, it's not the smoothest animation. So I really hope they fix this by the time Windows 11 becomes generally available. But the ability to do the swiping, I think means that we're on the right path. Another way to get to task view is simply by hitting the black and white button next to the search icon. And this is gonna take you there. A quick tip is that if you accidentally close a desktop that you're working on, those programs that you have open aren't going to close. They're simply gonna to move to the left. You can see here we have our Edge Explorer open on desktop two. But if I hit the X button, you see everything jumps over to desktop one. Really quite easy, really quite cool. And it's a very simple tool to use. The last thing I wanna show you when it comes to the touch gestures in Windows 11 is the improved portrait mode function on your computer. So in Windows 10, going into portrait mode wasn't the best experience and they've really enhanced this in Windows 11. So I'm just gonna rotate my computer from landscape to portrait. It's a bit hard to show you here, but you can see I've just turned it around and the animation was really quite smooth. But what I think they've really improved here is that when you snap windows to the left and to the right, instead of trying to marginalize it in this narrow portrait view, I'm gonna grab edge here, I'm gonna snap it to the right hand side, and you can see it actually takes up the top portion of the screen, and then I'm gonna select my program down the bottom, 
and it takes over the bottom portion of the screen. I think that is really gonna improve the way you use your computer as a tablet because it's just a much nicer way of actually snapping and working with your programs here. And then of course, if we rotate it again to landscape mode, lift it up, you see it's just a really quick snappy transition from portrait to landscape and back again. And you can see those programs that were stacked have now gone side by side. Awesome, so those are some of my tips and tricks when using touchscreen for Windows 11. I hope you guys found this video useful. If you did, let me know by leaving a comment in the section down below. And of course, if you wanna supercharge how you use your computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.